Hey guys, Andrew Shroud. I'm here on the sideboard. I'm sitting with Jared Betcher, Rookie of the Year. And you have shown up with a bit of a spicy number, playing Jund Aggro. So tell me a little about uh, why you chose to play this deck and kind of where it came from. Uh, when I was coming back from the Pro Tour, I wasn't happy with like the just overall staleness of Standard with like Abzan, Jeskai, Mono Green. There's not much room to finagle anywhere. Okay. So I kind of was trying to figure out where can I try and get an edge and be different and see what works together. Okay. I wanted it to be Naya, but it just wouldn't work. And I just figured Jund had the most powerful cards overall, okay. so tried to make it work. All right, fair enough. Uh, the, the card that you, you actually pointed out to me is like the, the one you thought was the best card in the deck. Kind of the glue that holds it together. For Air of the Wilds. Yep. Sell me on Air of the Wilds. Uh, so it's 2-2 two, two Death Touch, sure. which is insane okay. for two. It curves out perfectly. It gets pumped later on by almost every single one of your creatures. Okay. So that when it attacks, it's a 3-3. Three, three. It trades with everything on the ground except like a monstrous Fleece Main Lion. Okay. So like rhinos can't attack into it, coursers can't block it, carry tits can't block it. So it's great on both the offense and the defense. Okay, just kind of like a watch wolf typhoid rat split card, I guess. Basically. Okay, <laughs> I can I can see that being a powerful effect. Uh, and then we'll kind of move up the curve then. So uh, th that's the two drop, the, uh, the the kind of backup two drop, Rakshasa Death Dealer, and then uh, Goblin Rabble Master. I've heard that's a powerful magic card. And four Fanatic of Xenagos as your other free drop. So tell me a little about uh, the Death Dealer and, the, and Fanatic of Xenagos. Those are some cards that I think have, have been looking for homes. Uh, I was trying to find another two drop to like complement the aggro curve or the possible defense curve. And I'm like, I didn't want to play Karyatid. I didn't want to play like Voyaging State or anything. So like Death Dealer is the next best thing. You can pump it, it triggers air, it regenerates. So it's like able to live through 90% of the removal. Um, it's a very overall great two drop. It's a little stressful on the mana, but that's not the worst. Mm -hmm. Um, Fnatic, I, I love Fnatic. I didn't like him before, but like I was looking for a three drop. I needed to be able to pump air or to be better than having a four toughness or four power rather. Okay. And Fnatic just does everything. It's either like a four four pressure that they have to answer, or it can swing for four damage the first time, and then it's a three three that can't swing through like Corsair. But I have like other support to get Corsair out of the way, so that Fnatic is still just hammering in all the time. Okay. So. The early assault then, just big guys on the ground. Uh, and then your top end is actually kind of the, the top end we've seen in standard before. Uh, four Storm Birth Dragon, four Polychronos, and then uh, a smattering of, of Planeswalker kind of card advantage engines. Uh, two Shander Power Master and two Sarkin Dragon Speaker. Exactly. So uh, do you kind of, are, are you thinking like you're, you're an aggro deck when you're playing or is it kind of more mid-rangey to you? Um, I, I like. I'd like to think I'm more aggro, but the deck changes gears very well, so like I can play defensive if I have to. It's just all about like manipulating your scries and figuring out how to maneuver through the game to where you want to be. Okay. Uh, you mentioned that you thought coming out of the Pro Tour that this standard was uh, maybe even stale already. Like it, it kind of feels like a two 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 deck standard at least for right now, just with Jeskai and Abzan. Those are two decks you absolutely have to be able to beat in order to win this tournament. So how do you feel about those two matchups? Uh, the Jeskai matchup, I'm pretty sure, is like more than fine. The Abzan matchup is just like, it can go either way. All, all the cards in the Abzan deck are powerful. They have a lot of inevitability. I have a decent amount of inevitability, but it's just like, depends how the games go. Okay. Uh, the, the Abzan matchup is a lot better after board, I think. All right. <laughs> so uh, you, I asked you about your board, so, like, so like, right before I even looked at it, it's like, so what else in here? He's like, well, I got, I got some weapons. <laughs> I got... <laughs> I brought a lot of equipment. <laughs> um, you have, uh, I've noted it down as the four weapons. Two Bow of Nylea, one Whip of Erebos, and one Hammer of Perforos. Yep. Are those, uh, those kind of seem like, all seem feel like mid-range kind of game breakers. Pretty much. Uh, like the Bow offers like attacking creatures with Death Touch so I can break stalemates easier. Okay. Um, it also gives me like the life gain if there's Mono Red running around. The Whip is another one that gives me like two creatures, kind of, like recycles my old ones. It gives me life gain, so it's real good against Abzan. Okay. And then the Hammer is just like any deck that wants to draw me out to the late game, I'm just going to overpower you with this Hammer, giving all my guys haste, and sure. just being able to make golems every turn is okay. very good. Just never running out of attackers. Exactly. Is the, the idea. All right, fair enough. And then the, the, the last card on the sideboard that uh, I wasn't quite sure what purpose it serves. I, I trust that you, you know what purpose it serves. Uh, two Ash Cloud Phoenix. What's up with that? Uh, it's good against the junk deck because they need to spend specific removal to kill it for good or they need to two for one themselves. Okay. So that's never good for them. 
also it's good against like the red green monsters matchup where the ground gets gummed up a lot and you just want to be attacking over their creatures. Sure. Okay. So it just gives you a little more reach in certain matchups. Gotcha. It's kind of like uh, back back up storm breath dragons in those spots. Exactly. All right. Fair enough. All right. So uh, I believe we just finished round four. Correct. And you are four now. I am. Gotten out to the good start. I'm, I'm trying to jinx you, but I don't know. <laughs> I, I, Thanks. I, I don't know if I can pull it off. I I, I think that uh, I think that your skill can overcome my jinx ability. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so too. I'll be rooting for you. Thanks for sitting down with Thank me. Thank you. Stick around. We've got plenty more coverage coming at the Standard Open here in Worcester.